Hello everyone. In this session, we will perform the binding free energy calculation of a protein ligand complex system using the GMX module, GMX MMPBSA module, specifically with the MMPBSA method, right? After completing molecular dynamic uh, simulation, right? So as you already know, we have run the MD simulation uh, for a protein ligand system using Gromex software. The next is important step is to analyze the binding affinity or uh, binding free energy, free energy between the ligand and uh, protein over the simulation trajectory, right? So one of the most accurate and uh, widely used approaches and uh, method is uh, MMPBSA method, right? MMPBSA is uh, most accurate than MMGBSA method, right? Then, and and it and uh, it is also utilize more computational computational power uh, than the GBSA, right? And uh, it will take uh, it is it it will it will uh, takes uh, more time uh, for the calculation than GBSA method, right? So MMPBSA is uh, generally uh, stands for uh, molecular mechanics, Pison Boltzmann uh, surface area, right? So it is a computational method you and uh, approach uh, approach used to estimate the uh, free energy of uh, binding uh, between uh, biomolecules bio macromolecules protein dna protein rna and uh, protein ligand complex system right so this 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 uh, method works by combining uh, molecular mechanics energies like uh, electrostatic plus uh, van der waals and uh, polar solvation energy that is calculated using the poison uh, Boltzmann Boltzmann equation, right? And uh, non-polar so solvation energy that estimate the solvent from the uh, estimate from the uh, solvent accessible surface area. So altogether, these contributions provide a detail and a more physics-based estimation of the binding free energy calculation, right? So M um, yeah. MMPBSC is a uh, highly valuable in uh, drug discovery and uh, computational drug discovery mainly and uh, computational biophysics because it uh, give us uh, insight into uh, how stable and favorable the uh, interactions uh, is between the ligand and uh, target protein right so after accounting the solvent effects and uh, molecular flexibility it will uh, give the right setup data right so in this session we will go um, go through the step by step uh, procedure of uh, setting up the uh, and uh, running the gmx mmpbsa with uh, pbs pbsa calculation and uh, then we will analyze the outputs to understand the energetics of our protein ligand complex system right so i am in the current working directory right now right so just go for the terminal the current terminal right and just we have to uh, understand some uh, uh, things like uh, we need some input files right like uh, we have performed the mmgbs in uh, <coughs> previous session so uh, something like this we will need uh, same input files like dot uh, tpr file dot uh, xtc file dot guru file and dot uh, uh, index dot index file right so yeah and we need uh, some uh, parameters to estimate the real time binding free energy <laughs> so in this case for the uh, for just the understanding purpose we will uh, just utilize the uh, 500 frames right and for the publication purposes we, we should go for uh, the entire trajectory right so yeah we have to write a command that is the gmx mmpbsa minus i pbsa dot in minus c s m d dot tpr minus c i index dot n d x 
minus cg 1 13 minus cd md dot xtc and uh, the final one is minus cp that is represented for uh, topology file topol dot top right so this is the command this is the command right this is the input flag and uh, this uh, pbsc dot in file that is uh, that is contain the parameters how much frames and uh, what type of calculation we are performing right we want to perform and uh, this is this is the input flag that uh, represent for tpr file uh, minus ci for the ndx file minus cg is re represented for the protein ligand complex system right the one is uh, represented for one is uh, one, one is for protein and 13 is for the ligand and this this uh, this information is uh, <coughs> stored in index dot index file right so that's why we have put the uh, one and 13 number right one number is for protein and 13 for is for ligand because the calculation uh, of uh, binding free energy between the protein in uh, ligand system so that's why we have put uh, this numbers right uh, so next is minus ct that is md dot xtc minus cp that is topology file right so yeah just go for hit the enter and uh, yeah it is started and uh, it will take some time like it will uh, take five to two to five minutes i think right so we will have to wait for some time <coughs> right these are the residue information of our uh, protein right there is the 92 residues that uh, utilize in the real time binding free energy calculation okay so yeah Yeah, there is the 25% calculation is completed. This uh, this step is generally uh, calculate uh, calculating for the whole uh, complex, right? For the protein and complex uh, protein and ligand complex system, and after that, uh, it will uh, calculate the uh, calculate for the protein and. Uh, then it will go for the ligand right so like that there is the time there is the time remaining for the calculation done right so yeah it yeah it's completed for the complex system and uh, uh, go for receptor and after that it will go for the ligand calculation right i told you this method this uh, mmpbsa method uh, is to take more time than gbsa right because and and and, and uh, it also uh, uh, take more computational power than uh, the gbsa method right because it it is very accurate method 
to predict the real time binding synergy of uh, protein 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 dna and protein ligand complex system right so yeah just for the second few seconds Yeah, it's about to complete for the receptor contribution right yeah it's completed and uh, started for the ligand and yeah it's completed okay so that is the some uh, <coughs> visualize visualization of our results right we can visualize the binding free energy the bar diagram right so there is the delta g this is minus 24.58 something right and uh, this is the decomposition yeah this is the uh, per energy uh, per residue energetics right for the pb calculation and this is for the this is for the PB calculation bus for the uh, SDC right and uh, yeah that is the that is the thing to understand very well about uh, which uh, residue and uh, which amino acid is more uh, <coughs> interacted with uh, ligand like there is a uh, leucine 54 methionine 62 valine 93 this 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 amino acids are more interacted and uh, more uh, <coughs> interaction uh, with uh, our target protein like so yeah this is like that uh, we can visualize our data in the data file the result data file this is it final results dot data yeah yeah there is the there is the thing minus delta g binding minus 24 right minus 24 it is very very accurate in 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 the uh, case of gbsa it was uh, minus 36 i think right and for the pbsa calculation there is the minus 24.64 right and standard deviation is 3.52 so <coughs> it can it, it is it is it is clear it's it's crystal clear that mm pbsa method is most prominent and uh, most accurate method to uh, calculate the real time binding free energy of uh, protein ligand complex system and other uh, molecular system right so yeah this is all and uh, we can also visualize the data of uh, uh, per energy uh, per residue decomposition right so yeah there is the data of our uh, uh, per acidity composition right like uh, which amino acid uh, have uh, more uh, decomposition energy right so yeah we can uh, plot uh, the bar diagram or uh, the or results from this data right so yeah this is all about the mmpbsa method right so 
next session uh, we can uh, perform the principal component analysis right to uh, visualize and uh, to address and uh, to analyze the structural changes what structural changes are uh, made in uh, during the whole md run like after the binding of uh, protein uh, ligand right so yeah thank you bye bye